Alright, so this video we're going to show how to change out blade sets on a shear. Uh, all our shears are the exact same, doesn't matter if it's a HV, HD, or a 42. So all you need is a half inch uh, socket or wrench or whatnot. I prefer an impact. And if you need a 3 16 Allen key, you shouldn't need it if you have an impact. Just put it on the back and just tap it, it'll come off. Start at the bottom of your blade at your pivot. I always start at the bottom so that way when it swings out, it doesn't fall on top of you. And just work your way up. Now be careful when you get to the top one because the blades are going to want to fall off and they do. Now depending on you, whatever you want to do, you can replace the top one now with the new one or you can completely take off both blade sets and go from there. Like that. Now you have both blade sets off. Now put it back on, same way. Put your bottom blade on. Start off closer to your pivot. Put the first one in. Set that in. I like to go to the opposite end now. Put the last one in. Make sure everything's lined up. If for some reason you do lose a nut and bolt and you don't have time to replace it, do not leave two empty spots next to each other. Try to stagger them. Now they got that. When you start to tighten them up, start at the pivot. Make sure that's nice and good. You'll see that your blade will be lined up with your heel pad. Make sure that they are flush. Work your way down. And you want to make sure that none of the heads of your bolts are sticking out on the other side. Your blade should all be countersunk for your the heads of your bolts to go in. Now when you're putting on your top, I always start by hooking your top one first. Pretty much working in reverse of taking it off. And snug that one. Now that that one's in the way, you don't have to worry about the blade falling on you. Bring it back to the pivot. Push it in, just slide right in. Put that one in, work your way up, replacing all the nuts and bolts. And when you, when you switch off your blades, there's no need to loosen your main pivot bolt, which is this one right here. If it's working fine with the pressure that it has on it, don't mess with it. All our blades are the same thickness, so you won't have to mess with that. And again, starting at the pivot, tighten them down. Work your way up to the top. Now when switching out your blade sets, after you have them all tightened up, you're going to want to slowly come down and check your alignment. There's another video showing how to align your blades if they are not aligned. You're going to be looking at this bottom corner, make sure that these corners line up. If they are not lined up like that one is, watch the other video on how to adjust it and adjust it before you cycle it so your blades don't start getting burrs. And then once they are lined up, put a little bit of pressure away from the blades and cycle them. 